nutrition too. Hello, we are here at the third edition of BW Business World Sustainable World Conclave. And I'm joined by Mr. Mukesh Kumar Tiwari, who's the Chief General Manager at Gale India, sir. Uh, welcome to BW Business World's Conclave. First of all, big congratulations on winning the award. Gale is among one of the winners. I want to understand from you that can you list some of these sustainability initiatives that have happened in the past fiscal that have led you to this recognition? Thank you very much that recognizing the Gale's efforts. Right. As far as Gale is concerned, we are very pioneering the, the experimenting the new things. Mm -hmm. Gale has started the hydrogen blending in one of our pipelines. Mm -hmm. So that is a, one of the India's first uh, uh, pipeline where hydrogen and natural gas is being blended and it is being supplied. Results are very encouraging and uh, this will come in a long way in the coming days mm -hmm. that uh, we can develop our new basically value stream that hydrogen and natural gas mixing and it will give the lesser carbon footprint for the user side right that is the one second thing that we have taken up that uh, how to basically produce the hydrogen in in this country mm -hmm. and we have uh, ordered one of the electrolyzer which is going to be installed by december mm -hmm. and this way at that time it was the highest capacity electrolyzer okay and uh, we have given a lot of stress on our energy efficiencies right. and uh, in uh, hydrocarbon industry flare is bound to happen for safety reasons. So we have installed in our installations, mm -hmm. that is a, your flare recovery systems. Mm -hmm. And at the same time that new plants which are coming up or new installations coming up, they are backed up with green energy, whether right. it is our uh, sectionalizing valve stations, mm -hmm. we are installing their solar right. so that our need is to be met through the green energy. Clearly, you know, you well elaborated as to what the Gale's efforts in terms of combating climate change and as India set as target of net zero by 2070 and of course the 500 gigawatts renewable target by 2030. Now, given these initiatives that you elaborated, can you explain how it has impacted the overall business strategy and your operations on a day-to-day -day basis? In this world, basically one thing is very permanent that is change. Right. So now this from fossil fuel, we have to move to further decarbonize it. So Gale has started developing a new vertical that is renewable energy. Mm -hmm. As on date, we are having 30, 130 megawatt of our own portfolio that is wind energy and solar energy. And now we are going for one gigawatt mm -hmm. installation by 2025 for solar okay. or renewable. And by 2030, that is a three gigawatts. So this is a new vertical we are developing in a very mm -hmm. faster way. Right. So that uh, whatever impacts coming up in the uh, as on date business verticals that can be a compensated well and at the same time we are taking benchmarking studies for our carbon footprint of different verticals. Okay. We have also started that is LCA from IID Bombay, hmm. that life cycle assessment for our different verticals and accordingly we will take action on that. Right. So I want to understand that how do you see the um, or how do you measure the impact of these initiatives at India, you know, moves towards its net zero targets. And clearly, you know, the Prime Minister has an ambitious target of having the gas economy contribution around 15 to 16 percent. How do you see all of these initiatives and Gale's uh, role in that? Gale is the listed company in uh, this uh, National Stock Exchange. We are releasing our BRSR and sustainability reports, which consist of basically different parameters, water consumptions, mm -hmm. then GHG emissions, right. fuel consumptions, and these data are available in the basically public domain. So we are very transparent on that side so that people should know where we are. And because of this sustainability efforts and transparency in our processes, we have got this award. As far as coming up days of aligning with the government of India's vision, hmm. we are putting new efforts towards basically bioenergy. Okay. And uh, because uh, per month, I think we are uh, uh, 12 lakh, uh, this uh, vehicles are coming on the road mm. and you cannot go for EVs for all. So okay. this bioenergy come in a long way, especially blended ethanol and then a blended uh, your diesel, then bioenergy for CNG. So this in the coming days, whatever as on date we are having the fossil fuel, more than 40 to 50 percent will come from the bioethanol. This will have the very good effect as far as pollution is concerned and at the same time this Whatever we are spending on that, it, it will go in a long way to improving the life of our blazers, farmers, because this right. raw metal will come from them and we will save a lot of money as far as 
import of this fossil fuel is concerned. So we will find that uh, through implementing these initiatives, the, we will certainly achieve by 2047 developed nation because a lot of money is going to be to right. the people which are far flung areas, villages, and we will find a new India. Mr. Tiwari, thank you so much for your time. And once again, big congratulations on winning the award. Thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot. lot.